everyone, I hope you're all doing well out there. Since I started treatment for HIV back in 2017, I have remained undetectable, which means my viral load has never climbed above 50. In fact, it's usually a single digit or zero. Now the measurement is how many copies of the virus is in per one millimeter, which is about one drop of blood. So a blip happens when your viral load goes from undetectable status to above 50 to a 200 to 500 to even 1,000. Blips can be caused by infections, such as the flu, herpes, or a recent vaccination. Some blips are just lab errors, though. An increase in viral load could happen for many reasons, such as not taking ARTs regularly, what you're taking isn't the right dosage, or the HIV has mutated. Also, studies have shown that chronic stress, a traumatic event in your life, or depression, can all lead to increased viral load and decreased CD4 levels. And this would accelerate your HIV disease progression. So when is a person's viral load considered durability undetectable? This happens when your test results come back undetectable for at least 7 to 12 months and you remain on treatment. After all this, by the way, it's very highly unlikely that you will ever develop drug resistance or a viral rebound. And now you're not at the, any risk of spreading the disease to your sexual partner. We all got to know Dr. Anthony Fauci during this global pandemic. I have the utmost respect for him. He worked alongside with activists, patients, and scientists during the AIDS crisis. It is important to distinguish between a blip and a rebound. A blip will raise your viral load just slightly for a short period of time, such as a few hours or a day. Here is a quote from Dr. Fauci. If you go up to a viral level of 1,000 for a week, that's not really a blip. Dr. Fauci cautioned that defining the scenario as more of a rebound. When someone rebounds, they generally don't come back down spontaneously. A person with HIV may see his levels rebound if he stops taking the medication or he develops a resistance to the treatment. Can you test negative for HIV if you're undetectable? The bottom line, if you're living with HIV and have an undetectable viral load, you will still test positive for HIV. But it doesn't mean your treatment's not working or that you aren't undetectable. There is a slight possibility if you have unprotected sex with another person who is HIV positive, you could become infected with a different strain of HIV if there's a resistance of two drugs in your ART medication. With that, you could become co-infected. If that were to happen, you could experience acute HIV infection all over again. And that sounds like a nightmare to me. Your medication would need to be changed to get your HIV infection under control. Remember that it's very rare and unlikely, but it is slightly possible. Maintaining viral suppression should be a lifetime goal. Get your blood checked every three to six months and make sure that you're, there's no gaps in your daily treatment. I hope you enjoyed my video and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support my channel. Tap that notification bell. For now, Michael K here. Take care everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to my channel to support. No. I hope you enjoyed my video and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support my channel. Tap that notification bell. For now, Michael K here. Take care, everyone.